and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to go through a new advanced security uh, feature that Apple's bringing out in early 2023. Um, so at the minute, Apple does encrypt all your data, end-to-end -end encryption transfer, and it encrypts it when it's stored either on your device or at the data center. But now, there are, Apple are offering an advanced data protection for iCloud. And this is an optional setting that offers the highest level of um, protection for your cloud data. So if you choose this, uh, your trusted devices will retain sole access to all your data. So I just thought I'd go through the basics of how it works and an overview of what it does. And you can decide whether you need it and set it up. So just to get started, um, I'll explain what standard data protection is. So standard data protection is... Uh, where you've got mail contacts and everything listed here is stored on your trusted device and uh, on an Apple data center on the cloud, which is which is fine because it's end-to-end -end encrypted. So it's encrypted on your device and it's encrypted at the Apple on the Apple file server on the Apple data center. But the difference is everything listed here, including your backups of all your phones and data, your photos, your drive, your mail, they also apple also separately store the encryption key for that data um so in theory and it, i don't think it would ever actually happen but if in theory if a hacker or a someone an unscrupulous person managed employee or somebody managed to get into apple somehow they in theory have access to all your data listed there and the encryption key so they can unencrypt your data and see it so threats from countries governments even um even people that you just know uh, it's getting higher and higher because all our data is starting to get um stored more and more online so once it's online there is a possibility that someone can access it so what apple are doing to try and combat this is do Apple advanced protection. So what the difference with standard and advanced is mail contacts and calendar are stored exactly the same way. And I think it's due to operations. And for example, I don't think they can get the mail server to run on this encryption. Um, so that's them three apps, mail contacts and calendar are still end-to-end -end encrypted, encrypted on Apple servers, but Apple do retain the encryption key. But now, notes, device backups, reminders, your wallet, photos, iCloud drives, they all, under this line, are now you store the encryption key. So that's the, that's the difference. So you have your trusted Apple device. It stores that encryption key on that device. And only you and your trusted device can access it. So, for example, now all, all my data or all your data is encrypted uh, from end to end onto Apple's iCloud servers. But, for example, if um, the government wanted wanted all the files, or for example, law enforcement got a warrant for you, for your device backups, or even if uh, a hacker got in there and they got all your data your only your devices have the key not even apple have the key so that's why you kind of so no one else can access it apart from you so that's why it's much more secure so for example even so when people get the files even if they do somehow figure out a way to get the files there's no way they can decrypt them without the key that's on your device so that's the difference between advanced protection and standard protection. So for this is just a little example I put. So for example, the computer I'm doing this on is backed up to iCloud. So my device backup is on my laptop and it's encrypted from end to end and stored on the Apple servers. But if a hacker got that device backup file from Apple servers or during transfer, there's nothing they can do with it without getting the key from my trusted device. 
So that's why it's a lot more secure because I have the key. No one else has the key. Apple doesn't have the key. And there's no way anyone can get the key without you knowing because you have to put two factor authentication in and it's it's a lot more secure. So, so just to summarize, uh, this is from Apple's support website, just to give you a bit, bit of an overview. So standard data protection, everything from iCloud Mail to wallets and passes, the key storage is stored by Apple. That's on standard. But now, like I explained, um, encryption for iCloud Mail contacts and calendars is encrypted in transit and on the server, but Apple holds the key. And I think that's there's a reason for that because they can't get the mail server to work with with this level of encryption. So now it adds all these from iCloud backup to have full end end to end encryption, and only your trusted trusted device can access it. Apple will do everything in its power to make their file server and their data center safe. I have no doubt about that. But it could be anything from human error to changes in law, political policies, you don't know. Um, so that's why I'm going to activate when it's available in the UK. Um, it's only available in the US at minute. Uh, I'm going to activate advanced protection so I know I have the key for all my photos, files on my iCloud drive and everything. But there is a downside to this. If you are the only person that holds the keys on your trusted device, Apple devices, so for example, say you've got a Mac and a phone and all the data is stored for it on the, at the Apple data center, you will have recovery issues if you cannot access at least one of your devices. If you can ac always access your phone or you lose your phone, but have access to your Mac, you can still have it. But for example, if I don't know, if, if for whatever reason, you lose all your Apple devices through some disaster, um, you, that those keys, the encryption keys go with it. So because the encryption keys go with it, all the data that's on the Apple file server is all your backups and you cannot access it. So that's sort of the downside of this level of security. If you lose all your Apple devices and you don't have a recovery code, you cannot recover all that data under the under the dotted line. So your notes, your device backups, all the files on your iCloud drive, because they're encrypted on the server and the keys have gone. So as long as you've got one of your Apple devices, whether it's your watch, phone, computer, um, you should be able to recover it. So I am still going to enable advanced Apple protection set up a recovery key and um, make sure this is all encrypted. I hope this you found this little video helpful and I hope I explained it as be best I can. Um, if you did find this little video helpful, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.